G'day. So, stem cell therapy for erectile dysfunction. Is this the miraculous cure we've all been waiting for? Or yet another scam designed to use the placebo effect to separate you from your hard-earned money? In the next few minutes, I'm gonna tell you all there is to know about stem cell therapy and whether you should consider it for your erection problems. My name is Dr. Simon Snook. I'm a sexual and reproductive health specialist, and this channel is the Kiwi Sex Doctor, where I give you tips, tricks, and hacks for a better sex life. So let's just start with what is a stem cell? Well, in the very beginning of life, you have a sperm and an egg and they get together and they fuse to make one cell. That cell then divides into two, it divides again into four, then they divide again to 16 and you can keep on going. And by the time you reach to be a full adult, you have about 37 trillion cells. So that one cell produces everything across the body from your hair, your skin, to your heart, your brain, your blood cells and everything but it all came from that original cell which had the ability to become anything. Now, as those cells start to divide and they start to become something, like heart tissue or skin tissue, they can no longer turn into anything else. They've differentiated and become what they're going to be. The stem cell is the cell that still has that ability to become anything. So how could stem cells help erectile dysfunction? Well. For most cases of erectile dysfunction, the problem is essentially aging. As we get older, the tissues in the penis become less functional, the blood flow into the penis becomes reduced, the leakiness allowing the blood to flow back out again becomes more of an issue, and essentially it just doesn't work as well. Now that can be sped up, that process can be worse in people if you have diabetes or you're a smoker and other things that can damage tissues. But for pretty much every man as he gets older, the tissues do age and your erection function gets worse. Now most treatments that we have for erectile dysfunction up until now don't do anything about this tissue that's becoming poorer in quality. They are trying to override the system, such as things like Viagra, where they just force more blood into the region to overcome the fact that the penis is aging. Now, the holy grail of erectile dysfunction treatment is to try and reverse that aging and essentially give a man back his youthful penis. There are other treatments already available that are trying to do this, such as shockwave treatment or platelet-rich plasma or the P-shot, and I do have some other videos talking about those. Today, we're gonna to concentrate on the potential use of stem cells to rejuvenate the penis. So, as I said at the start, we start off as a single stem cell that can become anything, which then divides and differentiates into 37 trillion other types of cells across our body. So, if we want to treat erectile dysfunction, how do we get that stem cell from the beginning to do the work? Well, there are a number of places you can get it from. You can get it from embryonic tissue, you can get it from the uh, umbilical cord from newborn babies, um, or you can actually still harvest it from yourself. Now, there are a number of places that you can still find stem cells within the body. You can find them in the bone marrow, and you can even find them in the adipose tissue. That's the fat tissue around the stomach area. Um, and if you can get hold of that tissue and then in theory inject it into the penis, um, it will use the framework that's already there and that you developed as you were growing and these cells will attach to that framework and start turning into the sorts of cells you want, the smooth muscle cells, the vascular cells around that area, essentially to give you a rejuvenated penis. So how's it actually done? Well, look, in most cases of stem cell treatment for erectile dysfunction, the stem cells are taken from the adipose tissue, the fat over the underneath the skin on the abdomen. To get that, you essentially do a form of mini liposuction. Now, we're not talking about getting rid of your man belly. What we're talking about is just going in there to get the cells you want. So a little bit of fat is suctioned via a needle through the skin on the tummy wall, and it is removed. Now, of course, within that, you're gonna have all sorts of other cells that you don't want. So that extract needs to be purified to separate the stem cells out. Now, that can be a bit tricky, and that's one of the costs of stem cell therapy. Once you have isolated those stem cells, you've then got to get them into the penis. Now that's actually not that hard. The penis itself um, can be numbed quite easily and these cells are injected through the side of the penis into the spongy tissue which forms underneath the skin of the penis and that's the spongy tissue that when it's filled with blood it becomes hard. So you inject it into there those stem cells then attach to the framework that's already there. You've already got the blood vessels and everything else in that area. Those stem cells attach to it 
and they regenerate creating new cells and essentially giving you a youthful penis. Now of course those stem cells do need to turn into that tissue and that does not happen overnight. The normal amount of time this should take is somewhere between about one and six months from the time you've had the injection for the tissue to have regenerated. So to the most important part of the video, does this actually work? Well I'd love to give you a definitive answer as yet I can't but I can tell you quite a lot to help you make your mind up. There has been a lot of medical research at an experimental stage to see if this works, and a lot of that has been quite positive. There have seemed to have been definite improvements with the use of stem cell therapy on erectile function. But, here's the big but, there have been no double-blind randomized controlled trials. To clarify what that is, this is when the penis is injected by a clinician who doesn't know whether he's injecting stem cells or a placebo, a fake treatment, and the patient doesn't know if they've been injected by stem cells or a fake treatment. Now, one of the big problems with treating erectile dysfunction is there is a very large placebo effect. If someone has something they think will help, psychologically that can help them, and there is a big psychological aspect to erectile function. And so in any study where either the person giving the injection or the person receiving it knows what they're getting, the placebo effect is a really big issue. And it's very, very hard to be sure that these improvements that we've seen in these small studies are actually real or just placebo. There has been stem cell therapy used in other diseases and there have been certainly um, double-blind randomized controlled trials in those that have showed improvement. So the theory works out, it's been shown to, that stem cells can work elsewhere in the body. So all these things go together to say, look, this really could work, but until we have that definitive proof, no one should be selling to you that stem cell therapy definitely works for erectile dysfunction. So let's look at the other side. Okay, if we're not sure if it works, could it actually be damaging or dangerous? Well, not really. Um, if, the t if the stem cells are being taken from somewhere outside of the body, like embryonic tissue, of course, there's always, always the risk of uh, infection being spread or even some form of rejection of that tissue. But if it's coming from yourself, then you're really not running any of those risks. Um, so the risks of having this treatment really come down to the physical aspect of removing the stem cells, either from the abdominal wall or from bone marrow, which obviously you're sticking something sharp into the body, those things could cause a problem, but rarely do. And of course, the injection of the stem cells into the penis, which again, rarely causes any issues. So what about the cost? Well, this is probably the bit that's even more uncomfortable than having an injection into your penis. This stuff is ridiculously expensive. As I said, actually getting the stem cells and purifying them is a big part of the cost. Injecting into the penis, much less so. Um, the, there are very wide ranging costs that I've seen for this treatment, anything from 5,000 US dollars to 25,000 US dollars. So we are not talking a cheap treatment, especially for something that still has to be regarded as experimental. And when you compare that to costs of other regenerative treatments like shockwave and platelet-rich plasma or the P-shot, it is many times more expensive than those. Okay, so now armed with that knowledge, you're left with the question, well, should I actually try it? Well, before you even consider whether this is the treatment that you want to choose out of all of these other regenerative treatments, first make sure that you're the sort of patient that will benefit from it. Erectile dysfunction can of course be due to aging of the penis and degradation of the tissues, but it can be due to lots of other things. Psychological erectile dysfunction is a big cause of erectile dysfunction as well. This is where there's nothing wrong with the penis really, but the brain itself is not sending the messages to the penis for other psychological reasons. And of course, if you're improving the penis but not helping the brain, that's not gonna help. So make sure that you have considered and you've been spoken to a health professional to work out if your cause of erectile dysfunction is actually problems with the penis first. But if that is the case and you do want to try a treatment to regenerate the penis, then stem cell therapy is certainly something worth considering. However, still remember that shockwave treatment has actually been proven in double-blind randomized controlled trials to help with erectile dysfunction. So that's actually got the tick of approval and it's no longer experimental. Platelet-rich plasma itself is still in the experimental basket, um, but still a lot cheaper than stem cell therapy. So there are two other things to consider 
alongside of stem cell therapy. So to conclude, stem cell therapy is promising, but still very much experimental. We have no idea if it's a miracle cure or it's just a big placebo effect. I would advise against using it at this stage unless you had more money than you needed and you were happy to try some new experiment on the fact that it might actually work. I hope this video has been useful. Please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and please do offer some comments below and ask if there's any other videos you would like me to do. I'm always happy to do so. This video itself has been requested by someone watching one of my other sites. So I do respond to those and I do like to make new videos. Thanks again for your time and take care.